falls here. You can tell because the days are getting shorter, leaves are changing, but not this one because it's only the 4th of October, and there's Christmas stuff in the stores. One of my favorite parts of fall is carving pumpkins. Yes. But one of the sad parts about carving pumpkins is that as soon as you put them outside, some little squirrel tends to find its way in and gnaw out the eyes, or they start to rot. Yes. So we want to take a look at a few options to keep your pumpkin from rotting. One of the first things that we're going to look at is hairspray. So there's commercially available pumpkin sprays, which I feel like are probably a waste of money. So we're going to spray them down with hairspray and see what happens. Yes. Hopefully that protects it at the same time, making them look fabulous. The next thing we're going to look at is vegetable oil. So the vegetable oil is going to make a physical boundary between the bacteria that might wrap the pumpkin and the pumpkin flesh itself. Yes, at the same time, it's gonna give it a nice little deep tissue massage and hopefully make it relax. A fabulous pumpkin that feels fabulous on the outside, it's gonna say yes. fabulous on the inside. We Pretty know. much we're giving these pumpkins a spot weekend. We are. Yes. And then the last treatment that we're going to look at is a light bleach solution. Yes, so this will A, hopefully kill any of the germs in the mold that might be on the pumpkin, and at the same time clean up the crime scene so no one can track us down. The last thing we're going to look at is a control pumpkin, which just means we're not going to do anything to it as our standard to compare everything else to. Yes. Ready to see what happens? Let's see what happens. Pumpkin time. Pumpkin time. Oh, no, no, no. Or just pour it right in. That's the other option. Because I'm not supposed to do that. Yeah, whatever. Our pumpkin rotting experiment is now over. Yeah, we left the pumpkins going for about a week, and during the course of that week, it's been actually kind of warm and raining, which we think accelerated the rotting process. Our worst case, as one might imagine, was our control. So that one got pretty nasty around the mouth and eye area. Yeah, and actually only after a few days, and that was the pumpkin that was not treated at all with anything. Correct. Our second worst was the one that we sprayed down with a light bleach solution. Yes. And we think that this is because maybe it killed the bugs, the bacteria that live on the surface of the pumpkin off the beginning. Yeah, but everything kind of grew very quickly, so I think the rain on that kind of Maybe took it down a few notches. Washed away the bleach. Yeah. Our second best case was the hairspray. Yes. A, the pumpkin looked fabulous, and B, it actually kept it pretty protected over the course of a few days. And that means that our winner was the one that we rubbed down with vegetable oil. Yes. Well, the one that Jen care carefully and lovingly. lovingly rubbed down all in the orifices, got in the eyes, got in the mouth, really lubed it up there. Did a great job with that one. And we think that the oil got created a nice boundary that the bacteria couldn't get in. You get inside my head. <laughs> you got inside the head of the pumpkin. So I didn't this get inside is, the so we think, we're all even here. Now you know how that pumpkin felt. <laughs> we think the vegetable oil created a nice layer and the bacteria couldn't get at the pumpkin flesh and it actually kept it the cleanest for the longest. We didn't look at whether or not the pumpkins were extra flammable yeah. <laughs> with these treatments, so be careful if you're going to add a candle to your pumpkin. I would imagine the hairspray is probably the worst for that. Yeah, and probably the bleach as well. I don't think you. I don't think you'll catch fire, but I'm Watch guessing. Watch out on those fumes. Yeah, the fumes from that one. So that's kind of why we think the the oil is probably the best bet. And it kept your pumpkin cleanest too. Yeah. be a tumor. It's not a tumor. Tis but a scratch. Just a flesh wound. <laughs>